Hi everybody, it's Audra and today um, I just got up, you can see I just took my shower. I was about to make breakfast and I realized, you know, I could do a video. Um, I'm not going to show you how to make my breakfast, but I figured I would show you what's in my refrigerator and freezer so you can kind of get an idea of the stuff that I eat. Um, so let's get started. Here is my refrigerator. I know I have a very small kitchen, so it's hard to <laughs> keep up, but here's the freezer. So here are a bunch of veggies and berries that my husband eats. He actually eats a lot of blueberries and peas and there's frozen broccoli in here. You can see we have a whole bunch of it over here. Um, and then I have Ginio turkey burgers. Um, these were buy one get one free at Publix so I got two. Um, make really good burgers actually. Um, I've got some almonds um, just because you can have some. They do have um, quite a bit of carbs in them, but um, I would only have a few at a time, and I'd probably eat them with meat and cheese and just have, like, you know, five or six. I have some deli-cut ham. Whoop. All right. Um, just for lettuce wraps and... I want to do some like chicken cordon bleu with chicken thighs kind of a thing. Um, so, and I got some bacon for breakfast for BLT wraps. This is falling all over the place. BLT wraps. Um, maybe even wrap up some pork or something like that. Um, back here are some what kind they were buy one get one free so I got them pork shoulder blade steaks so some more pork I got some frozen chicken thighs which I actually had some yesterday um, they were on sale for $1.99 a pound so I got two packages of them bone in with skin and yesterday I got them um, cut them in half well kind of filleted them open a little bit, um, made like a little pouch, put some Swiss and some asparagus in it. It was really good. And then down here at the bottom, which has a lot of stuff in here, and it's kind of covered up. Buy one, get one. They were like pork, rib style, like cutlets. I don't know, they're like boneless rib type things. Um, a whole bunch of them. And well, what does that say? Kid. I can't even read it, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so that was the freezer. Now you may see duplicates of some of this stuff in the fridge because um, I had an extra paycheck this month, or last month, I should say, July. And so I use that extra paycheck instead of putting in my savings like I normally do. I put it in food so I can have like a whole bunch of stuff and I put stuff in the freezer. I didn't use it all, but you know. All right, so over here I got some butter. Um, I get unsalted butter and do all that. I got eggplant. I was gonna make a low carb eggplant Parmesan. I got some zucchini so that I can make some fried zucchini. I'm gonna do that with pork rinds. Um, I got some cream cheese. Um, I found a recipe online, dietdoctor.com, has like a bread replacement that's made with eggs and cream cheese, so I'm gonna give that a try. Down here are some condiments, mayo, mustard, soy sauce, which I probably won't use very much, hot sauce, which is my husband's, blue cheese, I love this stuff. Blue cheese dressing. I'm going to make salads. Get that fiber in. Okay. So here's the big stuff. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, I got heavy cream, cauliflower, so I can make some mashed cauliflower, make it taste like mashed potatoes. I have uh, some mini baby bells. 
that I'm going to use, I don't know, I was thinking like omelets and that sort of thing. Um, I've got mushrooms, let's see, I got my almonds, I got my pecans, which are my favorite nut. Wow, is there any way, did I zoom that in? I did, I zoomed it in without realizing it. Okay, um, pepperoni, um, already had some. It's like a snack. This is smoked Gouda. This is smoked gru Gruyere mozzarella for the uh, eggplant parmesan. Some Swiss we already got into. Cheddar that we got into. Um, and then this is leftover from what I had last night. My water, I always do, woo, always do uh, filtered water. Onions, a couple bags of onions, asparagus, and this is what I used, what's left of what I used. It was basically this size. And of course, what you have to do is you actually have to snap them. So you're not going to use the whole stock. Um, and with these, I ended up, it was only about this, only about half of them, half the stock I was able to use. I got some monster cheese, which is one of my favorites. I love this stuff. Um, I love cheese. That's like my, that's my favorite thing. I've got um, eggs. This is a two and a half dozen thing of eggs. Um, I also bought another half dozen, so I had three, and I usually have six in the morning for breakfast. This is some leftover blue cheese, so I can have blue cheese crumbles. Some Italian sausage. What's it? I think one link has one carb. Yeah, one link has one carb, 21 grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein. So I was thinking about doing one uh, morning with my eggs because I have just been having plain eggs. And so I want to add some stuff to that. Some more bacon. Again, I was planning today on having the BLT lettuce wraps. So we'll do that. And of course I keep, I come from a restaurant background so I keep my raw meats at the bottom. Um, I think my husband put that down here. <laughs> some more of the ham. That is a cooked meat. It needs to go up here. Woo. Okay. And then in my little drawer here, I have some extra stuff. Oh, and it wants to come out. Why does it want to come out? Oh, well. Okay. So I have some um, romaine lettuce. These were on sale for $2, and then it had another $1 off. So I got them for a buck. That was nice. Um, then I got some spring mix 50-50 with spinach for salads and again two dollars and then I got another dollar off and then I got some heads of romaine and I use this when I make the turkey burgers I'll do it when I have the lettuce wraps that sort of thing All right. and then here's where I have my excess cheese and stuff um, I have another blue cheese, okay, because I like blue cheese. I got medium cheddar, I got some more Swiss, some more Swiss, uh, sharp cheddar, another Munster. I got two more of the smoked Goudas. What else is back there? Okay, I got some more of the smoked Gruyere. Another mild cheddar. And then a couple more of the, as you can see, I got like four more of the pepperonis. They're boar's heads. Um, my husband's been snacking on those a lot too, even though he said he wasn't going to be eating getting meat. But oh well. So that is my fridge. Um, I got plenty of stuff. Um, don't have a lot of dry goods stuff. Um, because, oops. 
so much of like the dried good stuff is whoo, bad for you. Um, it's got carbs, it's got sugar, fructose, all that stuff in it. I'm sitting on the floor. Um, so the only thing that I have in my cabinet are pork rinds and I am planning on using those. Oh, and pickles. I got a woo, jumbo jar of pickles. <laughs> Um, and I plan on using those uh, pork rinds for like fake fried chicken and um, what else? Oh, the fried zucchini. I was going to use it for that too. So um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it gave you like some idea. Um, remember, just because it's low carb doesn't mean it's no veggies. Um, need to get those veggies in. That's why I'm doing salads and stuff like that. That blue cheese dressing that I have has zero carbs in it, um, which is really nice. It's high fat, low protein, but it's got no carbs in it, so it's really good. Um, so I will see you guys again in a little bit. Bye.